President Obama and German Chancellor Angela Merkel holding a joint press conference today. Chancellor Merkel feeling reassured that the current U.S. administration is working with the incoming one and is hoping to remain strong allies. The outgoing administration is sharing its knowledge, its expertise with the incoming administration, and this to us is a sign of encouragement. I approach this with, with an open <laughs> mind, and I'll do it um, on the basis of a deep conviction with President-elect uh, Donald Trump. All right, well, KT McFarland is a Fox News national security analyst, and she joins me now to talk a little more about this. I'm wondering... If these globalists, and let's face it, President Obama is a globalist, Angela yeah. Merkel is a globalist, they, they, they get along very well because they see this global vision in the same kind of way. Does she understand that the election that we just had in the United States was a clear rejection of globalism? No, I think she still thinks she's talking to Barack Obama 2008 or America 2008. When Barack Obama, right before the 2000 president, 2008 presidential election, he went to Berlin and he had a quarter of a million people turned in and showed up to listen to him talk about globalism and do the America Apology Tour. So fast forward today, 2016, Europe is in tatters. Globalism is rejected by the European, by the Brits, by the Americans, a lot of Europeans as right. well. And it's a very different conversation. But somehow, Barack Obama and Angela Merkel still think it's 2008 all over again. Well, I think, and I may be wrong in this, but I think that Donald Trump believe, or that that Obama believes he can kind of suck Donald Trump into this worldview. I mean, it, as as a, as <laughs> completely different as it is from what Donald Trump campaigned on and from what he promised. I think President Obama thinks, well, once he's president, he realizes he's got to deal with these people. He'll come to our view. You know, this is so silly. David, just look at what's happened in America. Donald Trump didn't just win the, the election. He didn't just sort of slay one dragon, the Democrat Party. He slayed all the dragons. He slayed the Republican establishment, the Democrat establishment, the mainstream media, the think tanks, the literati, the intelligentsia, the Hollywood glitterati, and all of the globalists. So if President Obama thinks that somehow Donald Trump, who turned out to be smarter than anybody else at understanding the mood of the American people, is going to be suckered in to this globalism view. I think it's quite nice. All right, let me throw a curveball at you, though. If Donald yeah. Trump appoints Mitt Romney as his Secretary of State, might that not mean that, that you and I are wrong in believing that Donald Trump will, will go against this globalist vision? Well, first of all, there's only one person in this administration that's going to count. And that's, that is the man who just literally slayed all the dragons. And it is going to be Donald Trump's agenda. It's not going to be anybody else's agenda. He's not going to be tricked or fooled or shamed into rejecting what he sees as the American mandate that he has received from the majority of the American people, where he has outsmarted all of the experts, all of the pundits, and everybody else to tap into this. And so mm -hmm. I think it, again, is quite naive of anybody to think they're going to take a man who was the toughest real estate um, tycoon in New York and somehow trick him into believing in something different right. or to turn away from what he did to win the support of the American people. I bet it's pretty tr tough to trick Donald Trump into anything at all. By the way, we're awaiting <laughs> exactly. his meeting with Prime Minister Abe. The Japanese Abe. Prime Minister is going to be meeting with him uh, momentarily. Uh, what's that about? I, I was wondering if China... Uh, is a concern to Japan, or what, why, what, what is on Japan's plate in terms of dealing with the next president? Well, the interesting thing is that um, uh, Prime Minister Abe of Japan inherited a very bad economy. It's been a bad economy for almost two decades. And his Abenomics, his turnaround of the Japanese economy, is, a, is potentially something that Donald Trump might want to talk to him about. Because Trump has said, hmm. I want a pro-growth economy, I want a pro-jobs economy. I'm going to have very different tax plans, growth plans, regulatory plans. And so maybe they have something to talk about there. But the second thing, and the big elephant in the room, is going to be what's the situation in Asia and the South China Sea, the right. East China Sea. Some of those islands are contested by the Japanese as well as the Chinese. And what are the Chinese up to? And how do, does the United States work with our traditional allies in dealing with it. Yeah, they definitely need us in dealing with China. KT, great to see yeah. you. Thank you very much for joining Thanks, us. Thanks, David. It.